Okay, two things are about to happen. One, we are going to make an arrangement track. And two, we're going to create a drummer track after we create the arrangement track. We're going to see what happens. So first of all, the arrangement track is one of my favorite things when doing some basic songwriting. We're going to hit this little plus button. You're going to see that it's going to do a song arrangement for me right away. It's going to do those in the right order. Now, I want to actually have more than one verse chorus. So if we want, we can actually select them both, use the option key, and it will copy those. Now let's make sure it copies to the right place. Zoom out. So intro, verse, chorus. Let's move this bridge over to the right place. So verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, outro. We could do another verse if we wanted to after that or another chorus. Let's do that. There we go. So we have a song form. That's step one. Step two, let's create a new drummer track. And look what it did here. It automatically gave us different drummer regions based on the arrangement in those styles. So let's close this down. And we're with Darcy and Songwriter. You can see different settings. Let's play through a little bit. A little bit more up-tempo or upbeat. A little bit more complex parts. Change for the chorus. Choruses are staying the same. So intelligently gives us all the different parts there based on arrangement. If you're doing some simple songwriting, this is a great technique to get all these parts out first. Now, to be perfectly honest, sometimes it's kind of nice not to have some of these things in here because if we are going to do some basic songwriting, let's do just like a bass part here. Well, let's see, bass. Yeah, it doesn't really matter too much. Let's go down an octave. And we'll just do something in the verse here. Okay, nothing really fancy. Once we have all of our parts in here, if we hold Option drag the verse over. It actually copies all of the tracks that are in there for that verse section. So it's a way to easily duplicate sections of the song. If we want to try them out in different places, it'll move everything down below it. This arrangement track, we should spend some more time on it, but it's pretty awesome. But we're just looking at today, creating that first and then creating a drummer track because it'll do all of those different parts of the song for us. That's a great place to start, and then we can tweak it and adjust as we want. Okay, that's it for today. See you tomorrow.